everyone, it's Elizabeth from Fern Creek Stickers and I am here today to show you how to make offset pads in Adobe Illustrator. Offset pads are what you're going to be using to make cut lines. You also might use them for a lot of other designing, but I'm specifically going to be focusing on offset pads in terms of being cut lines. This video is going to be especially helpful for people who are used to using Silhouette Studio, who are now moving into designing an illustrator. And this is one where making the offset pads and dealing with them can feel a little bit different than in Silhouette Studio, but it's really not that hard. So if you're coming from Silhouette Studio, hopefully this will be helpful. So let's start off, we're going to start off by just making a half box. And so this will be pretty simple. So I want to have, I'm starting, I'm actually starting by making the cut line here. So this half box is going to be 1.5 inches wide by one inch tall. And so this is going to be the actual cut line. And I'm going to make my stroke here magenta. The weight doesn't matter. I like to do it a quarter of a point and have no fill. So that is going to be the cut line. And then here I'm actually gonna do the offset path to make the bleed around it. So I'm gonna to go to object, path, offset path. And then here you just select how much of an offset you want. And so I'm gonna do 0.035 inches. And then you can select whether you want what kind of joins you want. So you can see right now, let me make this go out more. So you can see right now I have a square rectangle, but the, the bleed has round corners. And so I want these to be miter because I want them to be square corners, but that's important to play around with. Oops, forgot a zero there. So that's the line that I want. So I'm gonna click okay. And then I'll fill this with the color, we'll make a green half box. I'll fill that with the color that I want. And on this one, I don't want it to have a stroke around it because that's not going to be cut. So now you can see that I've got this bleed. Um, I want to be able to write on this, so I wanna have a white box in the middle. So I'm gonna go click on that cut line again, and then it'll go to object, path, offset path again. And this time you just use, if you want it to be an internal offset path, an inset path, you just use a negative. So let's see, negative 0.1, that looks pretty good. I'll have miter again to have it squared, click okay. And then I'll fill this with white and give it no stroke. And there we go, I've got a half box. So you can see it's gonna cut here, the green will print so I have a bleed, and that's what the box looks like. Now, the only problem is in Silhouette Studio, it ignores cut lines. And so you can make, in Silhouette Studio, you can make your cut lines have zero weight and they still show up, but they're not gonna print. That is not the case in Illustrator. So we need to come over to our layers and I'm gonna rename, I always have a print layer and a cut layer and that's just what I name them because that's what it is. We're gonna have a print layer and a cut layer and everything is currently in the print layer, but I want to move this cut line up to the cut layer. And now you can click on this eye icon to make the cut layer disappear. You can also make the print layer disappear. But when you go to print, you actually need to turn off the cut line and print just this, because if you have the cut line turned on, it will print. And then when you're going to cut um, using if you're using Cutting Master, if you're using the Silhouette um, plugin, or, um, you'll turn that back on. If you're using the FMark, you need to make separate cut files. But if you're using something like Cutting Master or the Silhouette Cutting plugin, you would just turn this back on when you're ready to, to cut. So that's a very straightforward offset path. We're gonna do something a little more complicated now that shows some of the more complexities. So we're gonna make a script sticker. So let's do something that says laundry, oops laundry day and let's find a font here oh what do we feel like okay we'll do we'll do something fancy like that I'll make this a little bigger so it's more obvious and i usually make this space here a little smaller so we've got our sticker and again this is this is bigger than i would actually make a script but this way it's you can see it a little bit better it's taking up more of the screen so um we've got our script 
The first thing we have to do is come to properties and click create outlines. Actually, before I do that, I should say, if you are not seeing the buttons that I have here, you wanna change the view that you have. And so you can come click up here and it gives you different options for a view. So I'm using the Essentials Classic layout, which I really like because it you can see when I select something, it brings up the relevant things I'm gonna use and it will sort of anticipate what you might wanna use and gives you those quick actions down there. So if you're not seeing these panels, then that's what you wanna look for. You can also, if you come to window, you can see any of these things in the um, in the window character, you can come find these. So like you can see a line down here. If you were looking for where to get a line, you come here to open it. So that's how you find these things if you're looking for some of these buttons that I'm using. But anyway, the first thing you have to do, right now I cannot create an offset path on this text. You'll see that that's, that's not an option, it's grayed out. The first thing you have to do is click Create Outlines. And essentially what this does is it makes it so that the text isn't live anymore. So I can't edit it, I can't retype on it, it is now um, you can see it's now not live text anymore. And oops, I'm, and I also, I made that in the wrong layer. Um, so whichever layer you have currently selected is where new things will get created. It doesn't really matter. And if the, I always, when I'm designing something, I don't bother with getting the layers right until the very end and I fix them at the very end. So it doesn't really matter. But anyway, so we've done the create outlines and now we can create an offset path. So we go object path, offset path and this time we want it to be positive so it goes around the outside let's see how big do i want it to be something like that looks good and for this i'm going to choose round click ok now obviously right now this does not look like what you want and again if you're used to using silhouette studio this is going to look a little bit weird but it's not very hard to get to where we want so we're going to go over to appearance and the first thing is we want this to not have a fill so that was the first step that helps because it essentially it's replicating the style of the text that we were working with. And then for the stroke, again, I'm gonna go use my magenta at 0.25 because that's what I like for my cut line. Then to get this all merged together, you're just gonna come down here to Pathfinder and you wanna pick this one, which will unite all of them. So it's gonna, where it overlaps, it's going to combine these. So there we go. So now we have our cut line. Now we've got a, um, some edits to make here. So you can see we've got this extra little piece. Um, the first thing I need to do is ungroup this because it um, defaults to grouping together the offset path and the text. And now I've got the offset path selected and I'm gonna hit the release button. So that's gonna release the compound path. So before this and this were treated as a compound path, but now they're separate. And now I can come and just delete that. So now I have a an offset path that I can cut on and I also have the, um, the text. So let me show you, I'm gonna delete this and then do this again to show you a couple other things with editing your path. This time I'm gonna do a close, oops, a closer path. And let's see, that's probably too close. Well, let me do it a little closer. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out the right amount. Okay, so again, we, no fill, magenta stroke, 0.25, unite ungroup. Okay, so you can see here, in a, because I did a smaller offset path, this time there's more pieces to, um, to release and delete. But we also have, with scripts, I always or not always, but often end up editing the path just a little bit because sometimes it'll get a little too tight to cut. So like in here, this is gonna be a little bit uh, where the A and the U come down, this is gonna be a little bit of a tight cut or could mess up a little bit when the blade is going in there. So I want to fix that. And so to edit this, the big thing, okay, so there's there's these two two arrows up here. And so this one is the, the kind of general selection tool. And this one is specifically for editing paths. And so this is, um, and the shortcuts for these, again, shortcuts are extremely useful using any Adobe software. And the shortcut for the regular one is V. 
and the shortcut for the direct selection is A. And you can see here, this is the A there, that means that's the shortcut. And it's really nice, these ones you use a lot, you don't even have to go like Control A or Control V, you just hit A or V on the keyboard. So we're gonna hit A, and so now you can see that that's taken us here. And I'm gonna click on the path, and now you can see I have this menu that's come up at the top that gives me options for editing. And you can see too that these um, these anchor points on the path have showed up, shown up. And there is, the, I, so for this one, this is pretty simple. So I'm just gonna subtract some anchor points. And there's the button up here, you can click to remove anchor points. But I like to just use the minus key on the keyboard. So you can see my mouse just changed to having this like pen with a minus. Um, plus and minus are the keyboard shortcuts for adding or subtracting anchor points. So I have this with this minus selected, I'm just gonna come and click on some of these extra points and remove them. And so that was really easy. And now I've got, this is just gonna be a little bit more clean and easy to cut. Um, so here's another place where I might wanna do that by this D. So again, I'm gonna hit minus on the keyboard and come in here and delete some of those. Again, the if I hit the plus key now, you can see I've got a little plus by my anchor point or by my, um, my cursor. And now I could add new points and then if I just hit A to change back to the regular mouse, now I've got a new anchor point that I can use if I wanna manipulate this or change this for some reason. So that would be what you do. Now, sometimes you're gonna get, let me do another example here to show having a bigger space. So, oops. okay. So we're gonna create another offset path here. Okay, this will be perfect. Okay, so here's one where if I was making this sticker, I wouldn't want to come in and cut this whole section out. I would wanna have it cut like somewhere like this. Now you could just hit minus a bunch of times and just subtract all of these points, but that takes forever and is kind of annoying. So what we're gonna do here instead is we've got, um, there's another tool up here which lets you cut a path at selected anchor points. So we can click that and then click the anchors that we want to delete from. And, okay, there we go. And now I can delete that, so I cut that. And then to reconnect this, I'm gonna click that and then shift click that other anchor. So I've got both of those selected. And then you just push, hit this button, which connects the selected points. So you can see the kind of little bridge there. And now I have a spot, I have a, a connection there. So I was able to really quickly cut out that whole section. And again, I'm gonna come into my layers here, and this is, usually this is kind of what I do at the end of designing something. I move everything into the print layer, and then I just click one cut line, I say select same stroke color, and then just move everything up. When you hit these, um, I guess I should back up and say, these squares here, this is showing you what's selected and what layer it's in. So this is saying that right now, everything I have selected is in the print layer. And if I click this and drag it up, then I'm moving everything that's selected into the different layer. If you um, hit the down arrow here, it shows you all of the different elements. And now there's a box by everything that's selected. If I just have one thing selected, that's where we'll come up. But that's what I'm doing there. That's how I'm moving things between layers. And now I can, again, turn off all of those cut lines at once so I could print this and then turn the cut lines back on. It's also useful because you can turn off, sometimes if I wanna check cut lines on something, I can just turn the print layer off to see all of my cut lines at once and see what I'm doing. So that is a brief overview of offset paths or making cut lines in Adobe Illustrator. I hope that you found this video helpful. Please let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see how to do an illustrator and I will see you all again soon. Bye everyone.